Hi everybody. Um, I'm just trying a new program here, so if you see weird things on my screen, that's why I'm still learning this program. So please bear with me. Um, I've tried using several other programs and have not been happy at all. Um, you wouldn't believe how many are recorded on Cam Studio, but I'm going to try this one and see what happens. I'm going to try to teach you how to make a swirl using the draw tool, which I clicked over here to the right, this red button. And that brings up this little box that says draw. I'm moving my microphone away from my mouth because I can hear feedback. Um, there are different diameters of lines that you can use. Um, I'll show you. I mean, that's real thin. This one here is a little bit thicker and it just graduates in thickness. The one that I generally use is this large one. And here's the reason why. I make a lot of paper lace. And so what it does, it makes it hollow. And what happened to that other one? That was weird. I've never seen that happen before. Huh, let me go to wireframe. No, it's not there. That is so strange. But anyway, here's my point. I draw things very large to get the design that I want. And then what I do is I shrink it down to the size, about the size page lace. Well, this is not going to cut at all. This one here will slightly cut, and this one here will cut well. The one that disappeared would cut well, too. Unfortunately, it disappeared, and I don't know what happened to it. Neither here nor there, I'm going to get rid of those. Make sure there's nothing else on the page there. So, once you hit the OK button on the Draw tool, it disappears. So you have to go back over and hit it again. So, I'm going to teach you how to make a swirl. Um, and some neat things that you can do with it. So I'm going to hit the large one and I'll do some kind of a curl. I'm not sure exactly what. I just kind of play it by ear. Usually it's something like the letter S when I do mine. And anything that is black will end up being paper, just so you know that. So then what I do is go over here to this Replace by Arc tool and I like to play with it to get it the way that I really want it to be. And just so you know what you're working with. To look at this, you would think that it's a very thick line, but if I go down to wireframe, you'll see it's just a plain cutting line. And I can even clean it up this way so I can get a better view of what's going on, which I do sometimes. Um, and all I'm doing is just straighten out the edges. Now I know that you can do this with the um, um, this black one over here, like you know how you click, unclick, click, up. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. I forgot to hit the uh, escape key. Um, you can do it from there. I don't know. This one here I think saves a lot of time. I love this tool. It's one of the things I love about the Pro Studio. It's something I really enjoy. So I'm trying to share that with you. So I'm get out of the wireframe and you can see I have a swirl. I'm not real crazy about the shape of this go back in and see what's going on. Oh, it's got like a little peak on there and see that's how it shows up. Let's see what happens now. Okay, that looks better. So I can leave it like this and just have a plain swirl if I want to or you know I can shrink it down a little bit and I'm going to go hit my mirror tool, hit duplicate and apply and apply again to get it in the same direction. Shrink this one down. This is what I'm talking about with the shrinking. Um, it's going to get smaller as you do that. So I'll put one there and duplicate apply, apply again to get it the opposite direction and maybe put one up here. I mean that's what's great about this is you can do whatever you want to do. You're not limited by somebody else's ideas. I'm still going to rotate that a little bit. Up oh, I enlarged it instead of rotating it. If I sound sniffly, I'm fighting a real nasty cold. I'm on all kinds of medications. It turns out I have bronchitis. So if I start coughing, forgive me. So I kind of like the look of that. I think I'm going to leave it just the way that it is there. And that's basically how you make a swirl just using the draw tool. It's very easy. And you don't have to weld any of this together because when you hit the OK, there it is. So now what I'll do is group this together go down to where this little lock is. That's a transparent group with transparency. I'm going to click on that and then click on a color. Just any random color. It really doesn't matter. And so I can save this just as it is. And when I'm working on projects in my image gallery, I have um, a category that just says projects. Sometimes I want to work on things later on. So I'm just going to click where to go. My projects, hit add. And when I go in here, 
you'll see these are all the things that I've been working on recently. So there it is. Okay. So now you can also make this into page lace if you want. And here's how you do it. You put it in one of the quadrants. Okay, just like that. And I'm going to go to the right side. I'm on mirror here. I'm on mirror. Go to the right side, hit duplicate and apply. And what I generally do is click off of it, click on it, and I'm going to use my um, left arrow key and I'm going to click it maybe two or three times. One, two, three. And you have to remember the number because you want to make this even. So I'm going to group these two together, go to the down section here, hit duplicate and apply. Click off of it. I'm going to group them in again and I'm going to use my up arrow key and go one, two, three. That way they're even. And I kind of like the way that that looks. And then what I could do is um, um, weld this together. I'll do it and I'll show you. Weld this together. And you've got a nice little piece there. You can even um, make an outline for it if you wanted to. But I'm going to do the back because, and so you could even do this and up. Oh, no, it's just hidden. That's all. Wait a minute. I gave that up. There, there it is. Okay. Um, I was thinking that I could just separate this, but apparently, yeah, I can. So if you wanted, let's say that you don't want these parts of the swirl in there. Look, you take it off and look how pretty that is. That's what I wanted to show you. So, you know, when you have all kinds of shapes like this, it's all random. It's a lot of fun. So I'm going to go back. I'm getting confused on what I'm doing. That's all the way that way. So I want to go all the way the other way. There we go. Okay, I'm back to this original shape. That's what I wanted to do. And see, I get confused too. Now, I want to change the direction of this because it's kind of like a kaleidoscope just to show you the different looks that you can get. So let's, I try to keep it in the quadrant. I find that's the easiest way of making lace. So now I'm going to do the same thing again. Duplicate, apply. And I'm going to go in about three. One, two, three. And group all this in. Go down, hit duplicate, apply. And let me move this out of the way so you can see. And I'm going to group this one in and go up. One, two, three. So I that looks pretty too. There's just all kinds of things and images you can do just by moving it just like you would a kaleidoscope. I just think it's so cool. I get excited about this. Now if I wanted to, I could shrink this up. And that's why it's important to start off with a very large image because when you shrink down, you're not going to lose it. So I can do something like this and now let's duplicate this. Duplicate, apply, go in. One, two, I think two is enough for that one. And then group these. And remember, none of this is welded because I'm just showing you. Duplicate, apply, and go up. One, two, and I can move these up. I'm going to hold my shift key and my left mouse key, and I'm going to move them up. Let go of my mouse key and then my shift key. And I'm going to make another copy of this and move this one up about three. I'm using my arrow key, one, two. I think I did two that time. Uh, yeah, well I hope. It's not going to be perfect otherwise, but what are you going to do? I have to pay more attention. I'm recording. I'm not thinking about it. So I'm going to group these together. And now I want this to fit nicely on my square page. So I'm going to go to condense and as you can see one is 10.992 and one is 11.826. I want them to match. So I'm just going to, for sake, for, you know, no argument, I'm just going to make them both 10. And I'm going to hit apply. And it doesn't, when you're working with a shape like this, it really doesn't matter when you do this. So it's more of a square shape, then you can put that in the center of the page. Or I could even make this 12 inches if you want the whole thing. Let's do that. Hit apply. And I already have a group, so I'm going to go to Justify and hit this big red box. It'll center everything on the page. What you're seeing over here are ghost images. I'm going to hit my Refresh button. So that's a nice piece of page lace, and that is how easy it is to make. So right now, these are all separate. Um, 
This one is separate. Oh, let me let me ungroup this first so I can break group. Okay, so this one here is un is separate. This one here is separate. These are all separate. Well, you're going to get a bunch of little pieces if you do it this way. So what I have to do is hit Control A, which groups everything together, and go over to the Weld button. And sometimes this works, and sometimes it doesn't. So we'll find out. Let me give it a shot and see what happens. <clears throat> See, it didn't work. And that does happen like that sometimes. So I'm going to hit my back button because I'm not happy with that. What I'm going to do is change all of these to the color black. And now, in this instance, I'm going to use my WYSIWYG. Now, generally what I do is hit Control A, and I like to take it off of the page so that when I WYSIWYG it, it goes onto the page. That's just my preference. You don't have to do that. So I'm going to hit WYSIWYG, and I'm going to hit this on high because it's so in intricate. So, and this might take a little time. We'll see what happens. But um, if you'd use this feature, I would love to see some of the things that you do with it. And it doesn't have to be anything fancy, as you saw. I mean, when I made my first line drawing, it was just like a swirl, that's all it was. You can make it as more complicated or less complicated. The less complicated drawing you make initially when you're doing the um, the mirroring of it, it makes it into a frame with an opening in the center. The more stuff you put on it, the more closed it becomes. So, in my computer, for some reason, is not liking this file. <laughs> And I don't know why. Um, I hate to make you wait for this. Up there, the miss went to 6%. Whew, we might be here a while. I hope not. Um, but I was going to tell you that um, if you would liked what I've done here, what I would like for you to do is do the same thing on your computer with your program. And if you go to my... Um, Yahoo group. If you go into the Yahoo groups and look for is about you, that's I Z Z A B O U T C H A U C H U, and um, you can look for where um, you can post and then go on there and start posting your photos of the paper lace that you have made. You know what? This is going to take forever, so it may not turn out as well. Uh, what I'm going to do is hit Control A back to WYSIWYG and this time I'm going to try medium. It probably would go faster. It may not be as intricate but certainly I hope it will be faster. I'm just wondering if my um, virus wear is um, slowing things down. That's a possibility. Um, I don't know how you pronounce it. Kapersky or Kapersky. I never know how to pronounce the name of it and when I first got it um, it worked in the back room, background very silently and recently they just did an update on it and ever since that point in time it seems to be interfering with everything that I do. No matter what click I make it interferes. I'm sorry to do this to you but I don't know what else to do. I just want to see if it's on. see it doing anything in particular. Found some viruses in three tro Trojans. Um, but I don't see anything. Online activity. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I don't know why this is taking so long. Let me try it with the simpler one. But at least you got the bulk of the lesson anyway. Control A. WYSIWYG. And I'll try low this time. It's probably not going to turn out as well, though, I'll be very honest with you. If it does, I'll be very surprised. Even this one's going slow. I've been doing a lot on my computer, though. Um, I've been trying different recording programs and fighting most of them. And this is the first time I'm trying this one. And we'll see what happens with it. If you're seeing it, you know it worked and it got posted. If you're not seeing this, then it doesn't matter to any of us. <laughs> but last night, I made about eight videos and only one worked. 
and I was using the Cam Studio, which I had been using right along for the longest time, and for some reason it just stopped working on me. My husband said, you need to change to a different program. So that's what I'm doing today. This one seems to be going a little bit faster, not by much. I probably need to restart my computer because I just downloaded some stuff and probably bogged. Come on. Coax it along. You're sitting behind your computer. Coax it along. Say, come on, come on, let's get done. Want to see the finished results? <sighs> Even on low. Wow. I wonder if I had welded some of them together as I went along. That's normally what I do. I don't usually weld them all together at the very end. And that might have something to do with what's happening here. Like when I do the first two pieces, I weld it and then I double it with the mirror and weld it and continuously. I'm doing this all in one lump sum. And I've actually never done it this way before, so that might be what's going on. But we're almost there. If you can hold on with me, that would be great. And I don't know if I can splice this or not because I haven't used this program. I know you're supposed to be able to, but I haven't figured all that out yet. Oh, there we go. Yeah, it's not as nice as I would like it to be. It smooths things out oh, a little bit too much, but that's okay because you got the idea. Um, like this over here. If you look at this over here and look at this over here, they're entirely different. But at least you got the idea. So now what I'm going to do is enclose all of this and come over here and make it hollow. And then from that point, if you want, you can even shadow this. Okay, let's see what happens. Sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. Yep, there goes my Kapersky or Kapersky, whatever it's called. It's not happy today. It must be catching something. Come on. And I'm afraid if I stop this, yeah, see? It's almost like it's timing out on me. But in a way, it's good that you're seeing this because if it happens to you, now you know that you're not alone. <laughs> It happens to all of us. Yes, yeah, see, here's something else you can look at, too. Um, if you look at this piece here and this piece here, put extra pieces in it. Well, anyway, I'm going to close out the program because it's timing out. Oh, there it goes, not responding. Let's just close that out. Come on. It's not going to let me do anything. Oh, see? can't even save it so I have to close out my program sorry about that but you at least you saw how to do it and you saw that these things do happen so I will talk to you later in the next video we'll see how this goes Bye.